The water company Seven Trent is trying some radical new ideas to meet targets on fixing leaks. The company is using drones and even satellites to spot them and then track down water escaping from the system. Our science correspondent David Gregory Kumar went to see how drones with thermal cameras and data from Japanese satellites are all helping to plug the holes, cracks and loose joints in the network. A Seven Trent drone taking to the skies just outside Hales Owen. It's one of several new methods the company is looking at to detect water leaks. In this case, by using a thermal camera capable of detecting tiny changes in temperature. So water in the pipe is slightly colder, slightly warmer than the ground temperature. Um, so when it leaks out, we can, we're looking for a, like a pooling water um, just below the ground surface, which might not be visible above ground, but is visible to the camera. The drone trial is still quite new and they need to do more testing, but Seven Trent are also trying another idea as well, using satellites that can actually detect a leaky pipe. So this allows us to um, actually locate and identify where the leaks are on our network. Um, so every one of these dots is a potential leak? So every one of these dots is a, is a potential leak. The satellite is actually detecting the low levels of chlorine found in drinking water and suggesting the areas that might need looking at. And this is what the crews on the ground actually get to work from. This is a leak sheet and it shows roughly where the leak probably is according to this data and in fact this one has since been found and fixed it was on a pipe supplying about half a dozen houses and all spotted by a satellite high above us the teams are using satellite data in combination with traditional leak detection methods like listening for them and they say one in three of the suggested locations actually contains a leak and that's a better hit rate than they expected so it's fairly early days um, into the satellite trial at the moment. The number of points that are turning out to be a leak is, is a bit higher than we expected and we're also um, finding a lot smaller leaks. Seven trends say they've reduced leakage by 4 million litres a day but admit there's still plenty to do. And the hope is these radical new ideas will have a real impact. David Gregory Kumar, BBC Midlands Today, Hales Owen. Oh, clever stuff. Right, let's move on to sports, starting with football. Wolves promote.